This is the Amazon Basin here in Suriname in South America. And I'm out here to live in the middle of the jungle for 10 days with a great group of people. Bob Bledsoe from Green Room Pythons is with me. Amy Benzi from Emerald Tour and Happy Basins is with me. Just a great group of local hunters from here in Suriname. And we're out here for one specific target species. And that is to find this guy. Have a look at this beautiful emerald tree boa. This is the reason why I came to Suriname because in this forest, this holy grail snake for so many herpers is actually pretty common in this forest here in Suriname. And that is exactly why we came here for this beautiful northern emerald tree boa. Such an amazing snake. So I'm gonna spend about a week and a half in this environment in the environment of the emerald tree boa to learn everything I can about what this snake is doing out here in the wild so that we better know how to care for them in our homes. All right. Um, got it? Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I got it in one take. So, Bob, did you want to do a yep. song and dance Let's with this guy? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Easy. She's, she's totally gentle. She's totally... She's doing great. Yeah, she's doing great. All right. All right. So, oh, man, is it hot out here. How long have we been out here? Like, uh... A week, 10 days about, about already? a week or so, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what day it is today. Well, by the sun, it looks like it's about Saturday the 16th. By the sun, what do you mean? It is it Saturday the 16th? Saturday the 16th. Today is Saturday the 16th? Yes. Oh crap, I'm missing Tinley. Hey, good meeting you all. Thanks so much. Thanks for cooking for me. Thanks for hosting me. I gotta go by. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, go, go. Go, 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 go. Punch it, Kenny! Oh, that food at the auction is going to be eaten by the time I get there. <sighs> Town's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, so many blisters. So many blisters. Ow, ow, ow. FOMO. FOMO. Big, big FOMO. Hey, mister, can I, can I get a ride to the airport? The airport? That's like four hours away. More driving, less talking. Okay, let's go. Twenty-one, okay, thank you. Whew, made it. That was something else. Oh. Hi, is this your seat? <laughs> Tinley Park Convention Center, please. Oh, I made it. Just in time for the last day of Tinley. Whew. <sighs> oh crap, I left all my friends and my gear in Suriname. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. All right, so this reptile party is just getting started. It is getting packed in here. We are gonna waste no time in giving out the March 2024 Rattle On Awards. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. Brian Cusco. Dave Kaufman, it's early. So, you are gonna be the guest judge. First of all, mm. how are you? I'm doing okay, Dave. It looks how that way. You? It looks okay? It looks, yeah. Right. It's better than bad. Yeah. You, yeah. you look like you went through what I went through to get here. Well, that's crazy because I know that you went through a lot more. Oh, so. I went through a lot. <laughs> All right, Brian, so you are going to be the guest judge for the... Why am I talking this way? All right, so Brian, you are the guest judge again. Again. And you have selected the Rattle On Award for the good. best snake here at March 2024, Tinley Park, NARBC, our Reptile Expo. What have you selected? I have selected a snake. A snake 
that is so amazing mm. that it had to be selected. It mm. was almost not a choice. It Intrigued. Was, I would say that I was maybe coerced by... I'm not, it wasn't a person. I'm not going to say who I was coerced by because I don't know. It just seemed like it wasn't a choice. It was like put in front of me, put in front of my brain, put in front of my being. And I make emotional decisions all the time, which is why I need help. But my emotional decision caused me to choose the albino anaconda produced by Megaconda. Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly. All right, let's go check this thing out. This is Megan Kelly from Megaconda. She produces some of the, not some of the, the most incredible anacondas in the world. Megan, what do you got for us? I have first T positive albino anaconda. First T positive albino anaconda. Well, captive bred. Captive bred. First one was wild caught. So, what is the complete story of this amazing thing? So, I have the whole like write up on my website if you want to go to it. It's megaconda.store. Um, but Ben Rennick reported the first one back in the early 2000s. He made hats with them, and I got the project after that. And it's taken me six years, but I finally have produced visuals. That is amazingly beautiful. How many did you get in the club? Just the, the two. I almost said clutch. Did you hear that? Did yeah. everybody hear me almost say clutch? <laughs> so if you happens when you do a ball, you a ball, ball python breeder. I'm a dumb, I'm, ball, I'm a ball python breeder. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, so how many did you get in? Just the two. Visuals. Just the two. So there's one there and there is one here. This is an amazing snake. May I? Yeah. Look at this snake. Look at those tangerine colors on this snake. And where they have those dark saddles, look at that. They turn lavender on this T-positive albino. This is an absolutely amazingly beautiful snake. So, as you guys already know, I was just down in Suriname in the Amazon. We found maybe one of these, maybe two of these, maybe giant ones of these. And none of them were albino. they weren't albino. Not a single one. Not a single one, because if I would have found this in the wild, it would be down my pants so fast on that plane, I would have, go, I, I would have like skipped right through security Wow, are you going to post this? No, I don't think I'm going to say that I uh, smuggled snakes out of South America, actually, now that I think no, about it. No, that was a big if in the beginning of that. that. Was a You're big telling if. people how to do it. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work down your pants anymore, Dave. They've got x-ray machines now. Don't, don't, don't shove snakes down your pants, people. Unless that, they're already that's there. That's my message. Shove them, shove them back in. <laughs> so, what are you pricing these guys at? They're not for sale. They're not for sale, which means that you better have a lot seven of money. figures in <laughs> cash if you want to buy one of these from Megan. If you were to sell them, I don't even have a price. Don't even have a price. It's gonna be a long time before they're for sale. There's not enough to sell, so I'm just. If this is just like to secure the project for the future. Yeah, she's so literally not gonna sell. Yeah. Them. There's not a yeah. price, right? There's not a price. These are priceless snakes right here. Anyway, the first T-positive albino anacondas ever captive bred. This is an amazing accomplishment, Megan. And this is why this is, why am I saying this? This is your snake, you say it. That is why this snake is the winner of this year's Rattle On Awards for Best Snake at the NARBC Tinley Park Reptile Show, March 2024. All right, real quick, I'm breaking into the Rattle On Awards to show you this guy. This is a Parsons chameleon. This takes me right back to finding these in Madagascar. These are the world's biggest lizard, except for another one in Africa. Comment below if you know what that one is, and if you want to argue with me that these are the biggest ones in the world. But that's not important right now. What's important right now is that this is maybe the first Parsons I've seen at any Tinley. Haven't been looking for them, I'm sure they're here. But this guy is here, and this guy is absolutely awesome and big, and you've got the most wonderful nose. He's like, shut up, baby, I know it. At Dubia.com, all the roaches are raised in-house in sterile conditions and then packed and shipped on-site directly to you. For all your Dubia needs, order today at Dubia.com. Or see the link in the description below. And once again, we have the lovely Catalia, who Hello. is keeping up with the tradition of giving the Rattle On Award for, for the, the best, best lizard, lizard here. Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 All right, you've made your selection. I have made my selection, and I think it is one you will approve of. Uh, yes. I can't wait to see it. It's 
It's a beautiful one. Let's go check it out. Let's go see. All right, Kat, so where are we and what have you found? We are at Sundown Reptiles, one of my favorite breeders, and he has some beautiful Abronia lithrochyla lizards, and they're nice. captive bred, and they are really handleable and beautiful, and uh, this is one of my favorite Abronia species, actually, so it's really cool to hold one of these. You know, Abronia are one of those lizards that are just on the verge of popping. You know, as we learn more about how to keep them, as we learn more about what they need and what their requirements are, we learn how to breed these. 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 You from Texas? Uh, uh, I'm from somewhere. <laughs> but as we learn how to breed these, these are going to explode in popularity. And yeah. when you have one this rare and this exciting, man, I want I, I want a whole colony of these. I know, like me all too. of them. I want all the abronias. Well, there's a lot of really cool species. So this is Brian, the breeder. These are just absolutely amazing. How long have you been working with abronia? Uh, about five, six years now. I've been breeding them the past four seasons. This will be the fourth season now. So. Fourth season. And what uh, abronia do you work with? I work with abronia lithrochyla, which are these guys, um, the mixteca, as well as the taniata. Wow. And what do you what do you find more most rewarding about working with abronia? The most rewarding thing is the fact that a while ago, a lot of them were coming in from kind of not the greatest sources. Sure. And nobody was really producing offspring consistently. So the most rewarding thing with working with any reptile for me is to be able to produce them in captivity. And out of all the reptiles that are out there, there's not many that need more captive propagation than um, your abronia. There's uh, just not agree. enough people doing it. So the more captive bred, true captive bred animals we can have, in captivity, uh, the better. So now, with this species, they start off kind of drab as babies like this, but then as they age, those colors come out, they pop, they get more red. And they get those uh, those scales. Their scales get really big, and you can see like color on each individual yeah. scale. They're just beautiful. It's like a mosaic. Yeah, a mosaic, that's a good yep, word. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. I, I'm very, did I tell you I'm smart? You're really smart, you I knew that. I try to tell people I'm smart. But you don't have to say it. I, just, you know. Apparently I do. <laughs> this beautiful Abronia Lythrochyla is my pick for the 2024 March Tinley Rattle On Awards for the best lizard at the show. Excellent. Does that work? Excellent choice. Mike Novi, you are the rock star frog guy from Tinley. We have filmed what two videos together? Three videos? Two, three. Good. I don't know, a bunch of videos. <laughs> it, I don't give enough love to the amphibians with the Rattle On Awards, and Appreciate I can't it. really give the Rattle On Award to an amphibian guy that isn't you, right? That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. That's my logic. So, you have one of the coolest frogs. Well, you have the coolest frogs here. But these guys in particular are really cool frogs. These are Crucia hyla. And are you, you're like the only breeder. No, there's a couple people breeding them now, yeah. Um, currently, there's uh, two other people that I have friends with that actually work with them. That actually work with them and breed them? You know, I'm not going to touch these frogs. Frogs are really susceptible to a lot of toxins. And I don't know what I have in my hand. I've been handling reptiles all day. I don't want to handle these guys. So we're just going to... Basically, let them sit on the cards here and pose. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not really good to touch a lot of the frogs. Right. Because um, your skin is like abrasive and it actually causes little nicks and abrasions in their skin. Once a frog's skin is open, it's like open season for bacteria. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, you got to be careful with them. Um, wet your hands occasionally when you're picking them up. And basically, you know, it's like having fish. You set up a real nice ra rainforest terrarium. It's like having a piece of the tropics in your living room, basically. Right. And it just just clean them and feed them. You don't really touch a monkey around with them that much because it will stress them out too. 100%. They're really even not even colored up yet. They're, these are only about six months old. The other thing that's cool about the Cruzia Isles, they have two-toned eyes. All right, Mike. Well, thank you so much for showing off your frogs. Mike is always right by the front door of Tinley. You come over here, you see GMG over here with all of his incredible hognose snakes, and then you come over here and see Mike with his incredible frogs. Yeah.
I appreciate that. Every single time. My cricket fellow will really appreciate that as well. Yeah. So these frogs are really amazing, and I really don't give enough amphibian love when... Am amphibian love, that doesn't sound right. I really don't give enough love to amphibians when I do the Rattle On Awards. But you can definitely see why these Amazon fringe frogs are my pick for the March 2024 Rattle On Awards for the best amphibian here. This is John Wilcox. You have an incredible booth here. You put a lot of design and effort into what you've created here, and it's all because of that. That is super cool. I mean, that's so unique. Tell me how that was built. So actually, my brother built that out of a 3D printer, and he gifted it to me for Christmas. And he's like, yo, just hang it up in your bedroom. I'm like, nope, I already got a better idea yeah. for it. And so we were like, we're going to take the banner down and throw it up and try to make it to where it just pops because my thought is the neon sign has never been put up on a display before so I figured it'd be pretty unique yeah and that was 3d printed 3d printed the neon was 3d printed it's just actually a little neon strip a light strip that's actually rubber because he was thinking about going to get one of those glass neon signs and he's like man he's like it was like six seven hundred bucks yeah done and he was like why not make one and just run the light through it and it, it turned out great. But it's not just the sign. I mean, look at your display. It's so nicely lit. You've got your name over here. And now you primarily work with, it looks like, berms. Definitely love the Burmese pythons. There's so many variations. Even if you notice, like a lot of them are normals, hypos, and albinos. Uh, some granites too. You work with berms and you work with retics. Is yes. pretty much what you work with. Anacondas, retics, rocks. All right, but this is amazing. But look at this guy. She's ready to come out. And what is, what's her story? So she is an eight-year-old Motley Citron, 100% head purple. And she is about 100 pounds and probably about 16 feet long. Let's take her out. Let's go. All right, guys, we are going to unleash the beast. Do you want the biting end or the pooping end? Uh, I'll take the pooping end. You'll take the pooping end, I'll take the biting end. Oh, look at you, you big, beautiful thing. Oh. <laughs> Look at this big, beautiful snake. You know, I love giant snakes. We were just down in Suriname, as a matter of fact, as you just saw, what it took to get here to Tinley. We were finding some monster anacondas down there. This guy, this guy rivals them all. Nice this is scene. what retics really should look like. This is such an amazing snake. We have got the beast under control here. And look at this, we've got this huge crowd around us right now. This is what makes Tinley so amazing, is all the people. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful snake. And look at this. You know, people fear these snakes because they're big, they're formidable. They might be a little scary, but this is a kitten. This is a big, what, 20? She's about 18 foot. 18 foot kitten. And this is what I love about snakes. There is absolutely nothing to fear with these big, beautiful snakes. She is just curious. Look at those tongue flicks. She is just exploring everything. And she's in the shed right now. Yes. Yes. And she's gonna look a lot better. She's gonna look a lot better. So uh, as long as I've been doing this channel, every cool snake I've ever filmed happens to be in shed when I'm filming them. But this retic is not gonna shed like other snakes. It's not gonna take its skin off like a sock. The snake is so big, he's gonna shed, she is gonna shed in chunks. And then you have a massive cage cleaning oh, yeah. right after oh, that, it yes. It looks like literally they just exploded. Oh, such a beautiful snake. So guys, this is the essence of Tinley. There are so many amazing snakes, so many amazing people to see here. This is why I went through exactly what I went through to get here for the very last day. I mean, when you come here and you see this amazing crowd of people and you see amazing snakes like this, this is the awesomeness of Tinley. So congratulations to this year's Rattle On Award winners. There were some very cool things to see here. Very cool award winners. Ah, now I'm gonna get about three weeks of sleep. 
who am I kidding? I'm going to go find the next adventure out there. So anyway, guys, I just want to give a real quick shout out and a thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It's with your help that I can continue reptile education on this channel. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter, that link is in the description below. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on!